Game 1 of the NBA Finals goes to the Toronto Raptors as they win 118-109 over the Golden State Warriors. And we keep hearing before the games, well, the Warriors in four. We keep hearing all this garbage. We hear, well, the only reason they lose games is because Kevin Durant's not there, even though the record is 32-1 and without Kevin Durant. So those numbers mean squat. And we keep hearing, you know, oh, oh Drake's not going to get in our head. Drake's not going to get in our head. After the game, the game, Draymond Green, he's chirping Drake up in his face. And I love it. You know why? You're letting an ambassador, a fan, you know, get, get you fired up. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But you know what else is beautiful? The Raptors winning their first ever NBA Finals game. And it's game one. So can we please stop talking about how this team is not a game one team? Because for the for, for the first time in the last five playoffs, uh, five sorry, five final appearances, the Golden State Warriors just lost their first game one. Uh, that could be because uh, the other ones are, were at home, but the Raptors got the best rec the better record in the regular season. Therefore, they got home court and. They take it to the Golden State Warriors in game one. Like I said, 118-109. And the MVP in this game is not Kawhi Leonard. It is Spicy P, Pascal Siakam. This guy. I mean, I think if, if, if it wasn't automatic that he was going to win most improved player, I think it is now. He had 32 points, 8 rebounds. Five assists. He was 14 of 17 from the field. He was what? Two of two from the line. Two of three from three. He gets a steal. He gets two blocks. And he makes Draymond Green look useless on the defensive end. Now, it's one game. They're going to come back with a different plan and a different game plan. And that's going to happen. But in game one here, Pascal made him look silly. And yeah, oh, Draymond Green had a triple-double. Yeah, he had 10, 10, and 10. The smallest triple-double you can have. He shot two of nine. He And and the the, the six of his 10 sh what, shots, points made, were from the free throw line. Um, you know, he was minus eight in the floor. And his counterpart had 32 and missed three shots at one point. Pascal made 11 straight shots. You don't see that too often. Now... For the Raptors, we talked about it in the in the preview. We talked about it, you know, being able to contain Steph Curry, contain Clay Thompson. And yeah, numbers suggest what? Curry had 30, 34, Thompson had 21. Yeah, that's that's all nice and beautiful. But the, as a team, I guess from the from three, they're freaks, right? Thompson was 50% from three, Curry was 44% from three. They knocked down their threes. They're freaks. That's that, that's what they do. However, from the field, they were both under forty, under 50% from the field, and they really didn't have anybody else help them out. Draymond was useless uh, on the offensive end. Yes, he had six points from the free throw line, but other than that, he really... I dare him to make threes. I'm glad they leave him wide open beyond the arc. His form is funky as hell, and he can't make them. Andre Iguodala, yeah, he's a great defender, but offensively, he's not going to kill you. Jordan Bell, he started the game, only played 12 minutes. He ain't going to kill you either. Alfonso McKinney, Kevin Looney, sorry, Kevon, Kevon Looney, uh, Quinn Cook, Alfonso McKinney. Who's going to kill you there? And we saw a little DeMarcus Cousins sighting here. You know, if we can start hearing about whole oh, Kevin Durant, this is the reason. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, you need five All-Stars to uh, win a championship. Is that how it is? No. Look, the Raptor, if any Golden State Warrior fan comes on here and starts bashing what happened today and blaming the referees and all this stuff, just admit the Raptors played the better ball game. Because you heard the coach say it. You heard Clay Thompson say it. You heard Draymond Green say it. The Raptors were the better team tonight. And the Raptors came away with the victory. They started out of the gate very, very well. They were up four after one quarter, played 25-21. Second quarter, plus six. They were up by 10 at the half. And they scored 34 in that, in that second quarter. 28 given up. Great job there. You had a 10-point lead heading into the third quarter. Now, the Raptors do give up three. Uh, they were minus three in the third quarter, but you're still up by seven going into the fourth. But with the Golden State Warriors 
with the way they are, the way they shoot the ball, they that seven-point lead, it can go like that. And the Raptors did not allow really any big runs. Yeah, there were points they had a 6-0 run and cut the lead to three. But then the Raptors countered that with a big run of their own. And they were incredible. I, I, they didn't allow a 15-0 run where Curry knocked down three threes. They didn't allow that kind of stuff to happen. They knocked down a couple shots. We knocked down our shots. The Raptors, we, we talked about it again in the, in the, in the, play, in the finals preview video. We talked about it. The Raptors are playing a team who defensively aren't really the greatest as a team. Like I said, defensive points given up. They were one of the bottom five teams in the playoffs so far. And I don't mean, you know, certain teams. I'm talking about all 16 that were in the playoffs. That's the number eight seeds in each conference, the number seven seeds. All those teams, this team, this Golden State Warriors team, is the fourth worst when it comes, or I guess maybe fourth or fifth worst when it comes to points given up. You make your wide open shots, you're going to win a lot of games. And the Raptors scored 118. They shot 51% from the field. They shot 39% from three. They got 84% from the free throw line. They did an amazing job shooting the ball tonight. And for as much as you can do, they did an incredible job defending the Golden State Warriors. Yes, Curry had 34 and Clay had 21. Yeah, that's going to happen. And you, you expect those guys to go off. But their next top scorer after that was Draymond with 10. Now we're going to continuously hear excuses left and right. Raptor fans, don't... I mean, you know it's going to come that you're going to hear, well, we didn't have Kevin Durant. Well, you need him apparently? You, you, you really? Out of, out of the Raptors, who is this, who's, the, who's the superstar? Kawhi Leonard. He had 23 today. He shot 5 of 14. They did a good job doubling him and making other people try and beat him. Okay, Pascal had 32. Gasol had 20. Van Vliet had 15 off the bench. Danny Green. Yes, sir! Danny Green made 11, had 11. He shot 3 of 7 from the field. 4 of 9 from 3. Great to see Danny Green make some shots. And he had a feeling with the way the way the way that last series went, you had a feeling that he was gonna come out here and shoot the ball really well. He did, and he got eleven. The Raptors had five guys in double figures. They had three. And their third guy had ten. Alright, here's another number. The Raptors had three guys in 20 plus. Marcus Saul had 20. He shot six of ten from the field, two of two, two of four from three, six of six from the line, two steals, a block. He was fantastic. And Kyle. Lowry, the dog for the Toronto Raptors. Yes, he only had seven points and shot two of nine. But we all, he, we, if you guys have not heard, first off, I don't know who the heck you're paying attention to. Second of all, he can't feel his thumb. He just can't, apparently he can't really feel it. How do you gonna sh how are you gonna shoot that well? He still had seven and drained the dagger, almost a half court shot there at the end of the ball game. You know, what an amazing job by Kyle Lowry. He had six rebounds. He had nine assists in the game today. He had a steal in the ball game, plus 11 on the floor. And he took some charges. Kyle Lowry, after today's game, has he's first place in the, in the playoffs when it comes to t charges taken. But it's not even close. He's double. He has 14 charges. The next best guy is seven. Kyle Lowry, and I don't, if anybody starts bashing Kyle Lowry and say, what the heck, this guy's terrible, he's got, he only had seven points. When I hear that, when I hear seven points, <laughs> you, you know they don't watch basketball or they didn't watch the game. Or they don't know the Toronto Raptors. Because Kyle Lowry is the driving force of this team. The Raptors had 24 fast break points in the game today. Why is that? They get the rebound, they get the, they get the ball to Kyle Lowry, he looks up, sees Pascal or Serge or somebody running the floor, and he fires right to them to get the easy bucket. You know why? Vision. The, that's what Kyle Lowry does. The Raptors are great at running the floor. They had horrendous transition defense today, and the Raptors just rammed it right through them. The Golden State Warriors are a team who love to run. They get out and run. So do the Toronto Raptors. And you saw the Raptors, where were they? Plus seven, I think it was, in um, in fast break. Yeah, plus seven in the fast break points, 24-17. Look, we're going to go through that numbers here. They got out-rebounded by two to the Toronto Raptors. And the offensive glass, they got out, out oh, well, the, the offensive glass was minus two. Uh, Robert, the Golden State Warriors were plus two in that category. But 
You allowed seven offensive rebounds in the first half. You guys can do the math. They, gave, they had nine, giving up the entire game. Two offensive rebounds in the big moments of the second half. Huge by the Toronto Raptors. Yeah, you know, they had 25 assists. Yes, they had 29. But again, they're an amazing team. They're gonna they're gonna make shots. That's that's the way the Golden State Warriors are. If you think you're gonna hold these guys to under 100, good luck with that. You know, and the Raptors had six steals to their six, six blocks to their two, and including Pascal Siakam denying Draymond Green, and then Serge Ibaka Mafuzi Chef having a huge denial there early in the game. I think. Actually, I think it was the early in the fourth quarter, I think it was, that he had that big block. And a big number here, turnovers. When the Raptors limit the turnovers, they're a good team. And when they turn the ball over, and they get the other team to turn the ball over, the Raptors have to get out and run. And that's what happened today. Raptors had 10 turnovers. They had 17. What were the, what were the um, fast break? Or sorry, it's the, uh, you know, and, and yes, the, the crazy thing I got to say, guys, we already talked about the, uh, the, the the points of the turnovers. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. 17 apiece. So, yes, they had 17 turnovers. We had 10. They capitalized a lot on ours. We kind of didn't uh, at all times. But a lot of their ball, theirs were dead ball turnovers. So, they weren't really factors uh, in the game. But the one number I look at, and I'm like, that that's something we, we kind of needs to be cleaned up uh, in game two, is the, the second chance points. Yes, they only had nine offensive rebounds. I get that. But they had 20 points off of those nine offensive rebounds. That is way too many. That is way too many. And you saw in the second half, look, I, I'm not saying this was an entire 48 minutes thing for the Toronto Raptors. Like, look, in the second half, they cleaned up and only allowed two offensive boards. That's awesome. If you can limit the amount of shots the Golden State Warriors take, you're going to win. I mean, that's just mathematically what it is, right? And watching this rapper team go out there today and and and, do, and hold the lead for the most part of the game, the worst thing they were do, where they were were down by one or down by two at one point in the, in the in the late in the later quarters. But even when that happened, the Raptors then went on a run to get that lead right back up to five or six for the Raptors. It was an incredible job by this team. And Raptor fans, I got one thing to say to you: three more wins. But, you know what? We enjoyed this one. And then maybe, well, because we don't play for another three days on Sunday Sunday night at 8 o'clock. Enjoy it today. Tonight, I guess. Technically, it's today. It's 12.43 in the morning. So, it's, uh, <laughs> enjoy it today. Enjoy it on Saturday. And when Sunday rolls around, you focus on game two. But for the for right now, guys, enjoy the game one victory over the Golden State Warriors. And you know what? We're going to hear excuses all over the place from Warrior fans, from just fans who don't want to see the Raptors win. Two in them out. Because this is the first time we've ever been here and we're enjoying it. Jurassic Park, massive. I mean, like 25 different Jurassic Parks across the nation. Incredible. Raptor fans are out there in full effect and it is absolutely fantastic to see. By the way, Fred Van Vliet with that absolute uh, Hail Mary toss that he had up there in the fourth quarter. The kind of roller whoop around the rim, off the backboard, and then down and in. Uh, the, the, Raptor, the rims for the Raptors, they have some type of feel to them. You know, obviously with, with the shot from Kawhi Leonard and I think big three in game in game six against Milwaukee. Hit the rim, off the backboard, back down and through. And then the Fred Van Vliet shot today. It's crazy. But for the Raptors... You enjoy the victory, but you're not done yet. Far from it. You got one. Three more to go. All right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoy the victory, and you guys enjoyed the game today. Smack the like button to appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below your thoughts on the game, your thoughts on the video. And I got one thing to say to you guys. I said I was going to do it at the beginning, and I totally forgot to do it. If the Toronto Raptors... Get the Golden State Warriors into an elimination situation. Let's say they have a 3-0 lead or a 3-1 lead or a 3-2 lead or a game seven. I am going down to the square. I know you guys hate it. I know. Look, look. Superstitions are not real. They're not real. The Drake curse. We keep hearing that's a thing. He's been at a lot of playoff games, the Raptors, and they've won quite a few of them. Because I want to I want to feel that game seven vibe. I want to see I want to feel that NBA Finals win. I want to feel that. Now, if they don't get to that point, then so be it. But 
I'm just letting you guys know now, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts. If you guys, if there's an overwhelming no, 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 then I'll maybe, maybe reconsider. But for right now, that's what I'm feeling. All right. So, guys, comment down below your thoughts in the game, the video, your MVP in today's game. Even though I think I know who it was. And uh, my goodness, people, it is incredible to be a Raptor fan right now. All right. Uh, Evan and I will talk to you as podcast edition. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when we're going to be able to do the podcast, though. Links are in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up, send me a DM, guys. Do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys on Jay's edition. They play, I think it's tomorrow, even though it doesn't really matter because they absolutely stink. But, and we're all focused on the Raptors, really. Uh, they, they had to Colorado to take on the Rockies 840 first pitch in Colorado tomorrow night. Edmund Jackson, Jackson on the mound for the Blue Jays. Uh, Herman Marquez on the mound for the Colorado Rockies. And then game two of the NBA Finals goes on Sunday night, 8 p.m. tip-off at Scotiabank Arena. The Raptors look to keep their home court, you know, they, they look to keep that home court advantage as they look to take a 2-0 series lead in the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors. It is not going to be easy. Any Raptor fans who are jacked up and think it's going to be Raptors in four, take it easy. you got to remember who we're playing here. I understand we're jacked up and we've won five straight playoff games. You crush, you, you beat Milwaukee four straight games and you just beat, you know, <laughs> the best one of the best teams ever. Ideally, they're not 100% healthy and all that kind of stuff, but... They saw the Golden State Warriors. They still have Curry. They still have Klay Thompson. You saw a little bit of Boogie Cousins tonight. They're still a damn good team. You got to take it one game at a time. Enjoy it for what it is. And then focus on game two, Sunday, 8 p.m. tip off at Scotiabank Arena. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys then.